AI is impacting all of us in our day-to-day -day life. And you might be wondering why. Why do I suddenly have a chat GPT? Why do I suddenly see self-driving cars? Why am I seeing all these headlines about AI? So there have been a couple of uh, big changes in both hardware and software. Um, on the hardware side, something called GPUs or graphical processing units have gotten a lot better. These are the computer chips that fuel computer graphics in video games and in movies. And what's happened is people have figured out we can hijack them and get them um, to do uh, much faster and bigger computations than the regular CPUs that are in um, like your laptop computer. Um, the other breakthrough is on the modeling side in computer science, knowing that we have GPUs, computer scientists, um, we've been working to build bigger and more performant models, um, which leverage the hardware, but also new breakthroughs in how to do the modeling itself. An example of that is a transformer or a convolutional neural network. What do these jargoning terms mean? Well, the transformers are uh, what's behind chat GPT and the other chat apps you've seen, and convolutional neural networks are the computer programs, just lines of code, text in a file that are able to drive cars. In biology, these hardware and software changes have also had a huge impact. We've been using computers my entire career to do research, but recently we can do things we couldn't do before. And one example of that is a computer program called AlphaFold. And it solves a problem that um, biologists have been working on for a long time, which is how does a linear sequence of a protein fold up into a 3D structure inside of our cells in order to execute the function that's encoded in the DNA. And so the function of proteins is intricately linked to their structures and the structure can actually be predicted just from the sequence itself. What that means is if we change the sequence, for example, when someone gets a disease mutation, the structure could change, and then you could uh, have an aberrant function that would lead to disease. So this has been a big, um, a big breakthrough. Not that people weren't working on the problem before, but with these transformers and these GPUs, the, the ability to fold proteins has uh, taken a big leap in the last few years.